Hi, I'm Dr. Ginger Sturgeon, head veterinarian and director of animal health at the Pittsburgh Zoo. And this is Jordan. She is a keeper in our elephant ungulate uh, animal areas. And today we are going to introduce you to two of our residents down here in the ungulate barn. Um, we have two of our Australian black swans, a male and a female here. And we're actually looking at them today to recheck them for a condition called pododermatitis or bumblefoot. What that fancy term pododermatitis means is that there's inflammation on the bottom surface of their foot. Podo means foot, dermatitis means skin inflammation. Now, birds in particular can get pododermatitis from a number of different scenarios. Um, we tend to see more cases of it in the winter time um, as the animals are not out on the grass or lush exhibits um, or out on the big Pond. So we try to replicate that as much as we can. Mm -hmm. um, so Jordan will use hay, she'll use rubber mats. Um, they have a um, pool to swim back in here, so um, their feet are suspended in the water. And currently we are treating these guys daily with a mixture of um, an antibiotic, um, a steroid, and then a drug called DMSO, which allows those medications to be topically applied to the skin and then pull them into the deeper surface of the skin. So one important thing you'll note, um, when um, we do handle these guys, we will go ahead and wear gloves because we don't want to accidentally get that drug on the bottom of our hands. Now we've had them under treatment for a couple weeks, so we're expecting that um, their feet look a lot better. And um, according to Jordan, um, they are well on their way to recovery. So let's see what we find. So here in front, we have the male Australian black swan, and his name is Ron Swanson. Adorable. And then in the back there, we have his lady friend, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. You can see that the eyes on the black swan, they're just gorgeous. Hi. Hi. What do you guys think? The mammoths look like they're wearing a set of little bloomers which are some old fashioned little shorts with the way that their feathers are ruffled on the back end. All right, so here we have Jordan again. This is Libby. Um, she is our head veterinary technician here at the zoo. And these are the bottom of Ron Swanson's feet. They're looking a lot better. You can see the, the areas where we're concerned about, but they build up calluses or thickening in them. And then they can have little breaks um, in the skin. And what we get concerned about is um, obviously if you have a break in the skin on the bottom of your foot and you go to the bathroom on the floor and you step in it, that could potentially cause bacteria to go up into those lesions. And that's what we're trying to prevent as those feet heal. You can say the way that Jordan is holding them is very characteristic for how you should hold any of our long-necked birds. Um, she's holding it kind of like a football with the head towards her back. That way if Ron Swanson gets a little saucy at all and tries to nibble Jordan, um, he would get the back of her shirt instead of near her face. So we've dispensed the medication in this um, little kind of cotton ball at the end of the stick. Um, manner because it allows for the keepers to have an easier time applying the medication and keeps their hands away from the medication itself. Again, there's a chemical in here called DMSO that allows the drug to be pulled in through the skin to the deeper tissue. So that is the treatment of Ron Swanson and his friend Lucy. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and we hope you guys are staying safe. Bye-bye.